Good night. A quiet evening for once. Perfect for two people who'd like to take some time to themselves. Mm -hmm. If you catch my meaning. He's got the trickles. Um, I do mean sex, to be clear. <laughs> We've been waiting <laughs> long enough. <laughs> that was almost my coffee over my keyboard. That was almost. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> let's find our own little piece of nowhere. Somewhere we can lose ourselves and forget all this madness i still don't trust There's him fully a place nearby that should do nicely wait until the others are asleep then come and find me there all right i'll see you there indeed you will my love indeed you will i can't wait okay do you think it's a trap I feel like it's a trap. Oh, maybe it's not a trap? There you are. I've been waiting. So early in the waiting game already? Since the moment I set eyes on you. Waiting. To have you. He's gonna kill us. <sighs> Say nothing, just let him kiss you. I love how he has to like go down. The perspective things are so good. Oh damn. Let's go. Okay. Um that's not oh Okay. Okay, what are we gonna do with him? Roll playfully and offer him your neck? Relax, enjoy yourself, trust him not to bite you. Or keep those teeth away from me. That's not an option. Are we going to relax and enjoy ourselves? Or roll playfully and offer him your neck? They are the perfect couple. They look so nice together. Look at how they look at each other. I can't wait. I, I just can't imagine being against a tree that if you move too much, you get... Okay, never mind. What do you think? Offer the neck or not offer the neck? Hi, sheepy. You are right in time. We're, um... I think Asterion likes us. Offer him your earlobes. Not an option. Uh, two, one, two? Uh-oh. Hey, Yagi. Good to see you. Yeah, so offer him your neck. You got the neck for it. Let's go. Okay, she's strong. I love the little leaf on her crutch. Oh damn, is that carved into his back? Where is he? <gasps> Did he leave us in the morning? She's so sweaty. I can imagine. Oh, he's here. Um, I want to ask him for his scar, but that's not. Yeah, we're gonna ask him. Not saying for a cuddle. Let's ask him it's about a scar. Poem. A gift from Casador. He considered himself quite the artist and used his slaves as a canvas. <gasps> he composed and carved that one over the course of a night. He made a lot of revisions as he went. You recall the sharp, complex lines of the script. It was written in the language of the Hells. I feel so sorry for him. Why did he write it in Infernal? Infernal? I... Who knows? The bastard was insane. Now let's go. We've wasted enough time already. Wasted time? I shouldn't have asked him for the scar. I ruined it. I should have said, hey, don't you want to stay for a cuddle? Okay, guys. I suppose you want to hear about Cazador. You don't tell me anything you don't want to. I don't want, want to say to. a damned thing. 
but that won't do anyone any good. Casador Tsar is a vampire lord in Baldur's Gate, the patriarch of his coven and a monster obsessed with power. Not political power or military power, I mean power over people. The power He's so heard. Completely. He turned me nearly 200 years ago. I became his spawn. And he became my tormentor. Mm hmm What did he do? He had me go out into Baldur's Gate to fetch him the most beautiful souls I could find. It was a fun little ritual of his. I'd bring them back, and he'd ask if I wanted to dine with him. And if I said yes, he'd serve me a dead, putrid rat. Of course, if I said no, he'd have me flayed. Hard to say which was worse. Oh. That's terrible. I'm Thank sorry. You. But this isn't about sympathy. It's about knowing what we might be up against. The Mind Flayers aren't the only monsters out there. They're not even the only ones hunting us. Mm. All I'm asking is that you keep your eyes open. And watch out for anything lurking in the shadows. Yes, sir. I will cheer back. What more could I ask? Now, is that all? Yes, sir. Ooh, you want to talk? Would be nice. What's up? <laughs> a line with a fork and one, two, three dots. <clears throat> that infernal. How was anyone meant to read this garbage? Want me to take a look? What are you doing? I was hoping to hear a little poetry. No. I'll leave Wait. you. Wait. I'm sorry. You caught me by surprise, that's all. Sorry, I've Dysterian. I've been tracing the scars on my back with my fingers, trying to read them by touch. But I can't. They may as well be written in Rashini. Hmm. Let me have a look. I... This isn't your problem, you know. I know, and I shut up and turn around. Fine. Shut up and turn around. They definitely the uh, work for each is other. Definitely infernal, the language of the hells, but you can't make out its meaning. Mm. And what can you see? I'm not sure. I'll still draw it for you. Hey, Blue. Good to see you. In the hells? What did he do to me? Well, what does it say? I have absolutely no idea. But it's no poem. Two centuries carrying this. And I can finally see it. Aww. Did you ever uh, see... Someone out there will be able to read I'm it. I'm sure. But what will it say? Th thank you, by the way. This is... Well, it's something. Mm, we'll figure it out. Will we? How... Sweet. Sweet. Let's see. Yep. Our character really likes him. 